What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And if you don't know who I am, I run a Canadian clothing company called K Bud Apparel that's done multiple six figures in sales online. And so I help new clothing brands like you start up your clothing brand and get really good results. And what I want to talk to you about in this video is how to start a clothing line with not a lot of money. And I want to talk to you about how to do this in a legit way. And I also want to share some really underground knowledge that you really couldn't get from somebody who's just telling you how to start a clothing brand and not running it themselves. So I think this video is going to be great if you're looking to start up a clothing brand in 2020 and beyond. Here it is. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if you need designs made for your clothing brand, I really recommend that you give them a shot for the designs of your clothing brand. You post a project on Design Crowd, amazing designers from all around the world will compete for your project. You choose the winner, then you get that design plus revisions. Here's an example of a design that I had made through Design Crowd for my own clothing brand that's selling like fire right now through my website. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have where you can save up to $100 or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. So to start this video, I want to answer a really big question that comes up a lot, which is, can you start a successful clothing brand with a really low investment of say $50 or $100? And the answer to this question is definitely yes. And the reason for that is because if you come out with 10 t-shirts for say $50, you start your clothing brand with 50 bucks, when you sell those 10 t-shirts, you're going to make enough profit to then come out with 20 t-shirts. When you sell those 20 t-shirts, you're going to make enough profit on that to then come out with 40 t-shirts. And this cycle is infinite. And this is how you can grow up a clothing brand with a really low investment from the beginning and just keep building on it to eventually have a lot of inventory where you're selling a lot of clothing all the time. So now let's talk about what exactly the best way is to start up a clothing brand with a low budget. And what most people want to do in 2020 moving forward is they want to do this all through a website. And my recommendation here for how to build a website for your clothing brand is a little bit against the grain and probably not what most people would tell you, which is to use Shopify. And what I recommend using is Wix. And one of the reasons why I recommend using Wix is because you can get started working on your clothing brand's website right now for complete free. And I know people are going to say, well, you can do that with Shopify too, but there's no limit with Wix on how long you can be building your website before you actually have to join one of their premium plans. With Shopify, there's this trial period where you only have a certain amount of days to do it. With Wix, you can get started right now and just endlessly be working on your clothing brand's website until you feel completely confident and comfortable in your brand's website where you're ready to launch and you're like, okay, now I want to connect my domain and I want to be able to accept orders through my website. And also through Wix, it's only like 10 bucks a month. And I've just found running my own clothing brand that the way that their website builder works is just a lot more fluid and a lot more free. There's a lot more room for creativity on there. I know that people who are using Shopify are going to hate me for saying this. And to be honest, I love Shopify too. I think it's an amazing company and I've tried it myself, but my preference is Wix. And so why would I recommend another company that I'm not using myself? I think that there's a complete misconception about Wix that you can't build a legitimate online business through them and that you have to do Shopify. But you know, my clothing brand's website was designed by me, who's not even a website designer. I, I was basically just taking inspiration from the websites that I like for my clothing brand. And you know, everything's working just great. And I'm doing close to 20K in sales this month for my clothing brand. So you know, whether you like the design of my website or you don't, um, it's working really well for my niche audience and it's selling like crazy. So that's what I'd have to say about building a website for your clothing brand at a really low cost. Now let's talk about how to actually make the clothing that you're going to be selling. There's two big options to consider here that are really different from one another. And I just want to quickly break down the pros and cons of both. The first option is print on demand, which is essentially drop shipping and print on demand is basically where when an order comes in through your website, you don't have to do anything. And there's a company out there that will make the t-shirt for you, make the clothing for you. They'll print on it. They'll do that. And they'll also ship out the order for you to your customers. So you get the order. You don't have to do anything. Somebody else handles all the fulfillment. The other option is to actually make the clothing up front, like what I'm doing, where you're actually holding onto your inventory and you're shipping out all the orders yourself. Now let's get into the pros and cons really quickly of both of these. With print on demand, there's much less upfront cost. So there's less risk involved. And when you're investing in inventory, you know, there's the risk of maybe you won't be able to sell this inventory and you also need to be able to spot that money up front. 
Another thing about print on demand is just the convenience, right? If you go with print on demand, you don't have to be fulfilling any of the orders yourself. Somebody else is going to handle all that for you. Now, the pros of holding on to your inventory and the cons of print on demand is that when you're holding on to your inventory, you have much more customization. So you can decide whatever it is that you want to throw into the box or how exactly you want that box to look when it goes out. You can also quality check all of your products before they go out and you have much more control over your shipping times and just getting your products to your customers. I hear a lot of really tragic stories of people using print on demand where you know they have orders from their customers that don't get sent out for weeks and it's like it takes like four weeks to get to their customers and you just don't really have as much control over you know the whole process and so that's basically what you're sacrificing with print on demand so right now i just want to really present this question to you for your benefit which is do you have enough money to invest in inventory for your clothing brand because if you do then i recommend going the inventory route you don't have to invest in a crazy amount of inventory and i'm going to talk to you about that in a second and if you don't want to do that, if you kind of just want to, you know, dip your toes in the water and see how things go, then you can obviously go the print on demand route and sign up with something like Printful, where um, you can literally link your website to Printful and just get working on that immediately. And you can test that out. So if you've decided that you actually want to make the clothing yourself so that you can get all the customization that you want so that you can fulfill the orders that you want. What I recommend that you do is you find a wholesaler online where you can get the t-shirt that you want at a really low price per unit. And an example of this here in Canada is a website that I use called t-shirt.ca. And you can get really high quality t-shirts here that are wholesale prices for like three bucks, four bucks per unit, and basically have those shipped directly to a local screen printing facility that you can find on your own as well. And so here's what I recommend that you do. I recommend that you find a wholesale website that you can order your blank clothing from at a low cost or whatever cost you're willing to pay for that also has no minimum order quantity. So basically this means that you can order as many shirts as you want. If you want to start out with just five shirts, you can order five shirts for, you know, the same wholesale price. Um, you might get a slight discount if you decide to order, you know, a hundred units or 200 units, but you can order as many units as you want. Then I recommend, you know, you ship those products directly to a local screen printing facility around you. Obviously you have to talk to them first and then let them know that you're going to do this. Um, but where these local screen printing facilities will print the products for you and they'll, you just give them your designs and they'll put the, the custom labels on your clothing for you. They'll print your logos on for you. And uh, the screen printing facility that I use here in Toronto, Canada is called Astro Screen Printing and they print our clothing for $1.60 per print plus $1.15 per custom label. So that comes to 275 per unit. And so if you get a t-shirt for say, you know, three bucks and then you add 275 to it, we're basically creating a t-shirt for 575 landed, you know, is how much you can get it. And if you sell that t-shirt for 25 bucks, you've got a really good profit margin there. Um, this is also another thing with print on demand where, you know, they take a pretty good percentage of every single sale that you make with a lot of the print on demand websites. And so you're not going to be getting as much profit at the end of the day as you would if you actually made the inventory and you took that risk to invest in it. So what you have here is a website that costs you 10 bucks a month when you're ready to start paying that. You can buy a domain through GoDaddy for like five bucks or less than five bucks as long as that domain's not competitive and it's a unique domain to, you know, your clothing brand's name. So that's like 15 bucks right there for one month. Um, and then also you can start out with a low amount of inventory. I really recommend starting out with a low amount of inventory for your clothing brand. This is a mistake that I made when I started up my clothing brand. We started out with 400 t-shirts of our first units. And you know, it was just way too much inventory to start out with just because you want to be testing out which products are working really well, which products are selling really well. And when you overinvest in inventory, you know, if that product isn't selling like other products, then you're really just going to be stuck with that inventory for a long amount of time. And so what I recommend from the beginning here is to literally invest in, you know, a couple designs max and don't come out with a whole whack load of t-shirts, maybe come out with like 50 t-shirts and just try and sell those. Then when you sell those, you're going to make some money on it and you can invest in more inventory. I think that that's really the risk-free way of doing the whole carrier inventory thing is to just come out with not a lot of inventory at the beginning inventory that you feel comfortable investing in 
and then just trying to sell that. And that's really going to be the best experience for you moving forward. You're going to learn a ton about, you know, how to sell, how to stage your brand online and get your brand looking the best way possible to actually start making orders. As you do that, you'll get orders and then you'll have more money to invest in new inventory. This is how I recommend starting up a clothing brand from somebody who is more of a marketer and a business person and a branding person and who's not really as passionate about the whole cut and sew world and actually, you know, making every single little piece of clothing myself and the whole fashion side of it. I'm much more interested in the branding side, things like marketing on social media and the business building side. And so if you're like that as well, then this is really the method that I recommend you going where you can sort of bypass that whole section where you need to learn how to, you know, run these machines yourself and you can get somebody else to, to make your products for you. And while they're doing that, you know, you can focus on the social media, on your website, on the branding, on the story of your brand, on your brand concept and things like that. And so there are obviously different options out here if you're interested in buying machines and things like that. But this is for those of you who really just wanted to start up a legit clothing brand, you know, with as low money as possible. And so that you can get started. I really hope that that helps. If you got a lot of value out of this video, hit the like button for me, drop a comment, let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass. You can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I want to tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.